What can Michigan do to prepare for peak oil? Well, like other uh, regions, I think Michigan would be uh, best advised to undertake uh, rapid and thorough analyses of both risks and opportunities associated with peak oil. The risks are likely to be primarily in the areas of uh, transport and agriculture. Transport, of course, is uh, over 95 percent reliant on, um, on oil in one form or another, gasoline, diesel, or, or jet fuel, aviation fuel. And so the risks there are enormous uh, because they spread throughout the economy. Delivery of goods, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, simple uh, driving, uh, consumer uh, purchases and, and deliveries and uh, commuting to and from work and so on. Uh, what would Michigan look like with 10% less oil? for example, some scenario planning uh, to tease out what exactly the risks are and uh, uh, what would Michigan look like with $200 a barrel oil? What would uh, Michigan look like with $250 or $300 a barrel oil? Those kinds of scenarios should be um, put on the table. Most uh, municipal governments and state governments are working with um, uh, forecasts from the U.S. Department of Energy that are for oil to be costing now uh, $60, $80 a barrel. I mean, these, these are the estimates just from a year ago or two, and obviously they're, they're completely wrong. We need a uh, risk assessment that's based on the real circumstances as they're unfolding, not on what we'd like them to be. Uh, then we need also to assess the opportunities. What are the alternative sources of energy that can be developed in, in Michigan, uh, whether they're biomass or wind or solar, some kind of accurate uh, uh, assessment of those because every region has different opportunities in that regard. Uh, is there opportunity for more hydropower or, or microhydro? And sometimes this differs from community to community, but unless we look, unless we undertake an assessment, we won't know. Uh, and surely we will need to develop those alternative energy sources, so uh, we need to start that process now. And a third area, actually, I, sh I should uh, also um, mention, which is to make plans in case of the need for a rapid response to energy shortages, uh, for home heating, for transportation, we need to think about rationing of fuels. There has to be a plan in place because it's, it's by no means outside the range of possibility that we will have a need for rationing of both transportation and heating fuels uh, within the next few years. Unless we have that plan in place, I think uh, we're, we run the risk of very, very serious um, problems.